is Katie Lowe, and today I'll be reading from this year's One Book at Indiana University East, The Girl and the Tangerine Scarf by Moja Ka. This is from page 123 to 125. Kadra felt a jab between her shoulder blades. Her book slipped to the floor, An American Tragedy by Theodore Dreiser and the Autobiography of Malcolm X. Oops, said a voice behind her. She whirled. Brett Lott and Curtis Stevenson. She was cornered. The whole school was at the rally in the gym. She could hear the pep squad's war hoops in the distance. Curtis grabbed Malcolm X off the pukey green floor. Give me that, Kadra glared. Take off your towel first, raghead. Give it. Why don't we take it off for her? Brent Lott's hammy hand clamped on the nape of her neck, yanking her backwards. The scarf went down around her shoulders. If Mindy Oberholzer's little pleated cheerleader skirt had been ripped off so that she'd been rendered half naked right in the middle of school where people could see her, she might have felt as mortified as Kadra did then. Look, Rackhead's got hair under that piece of shit, Curtis crowed. Brett yanked again. Cut it out, jerk off! Kadra yelled, swiping uselessly at his arm behind her back. Ow! The topad scarf brooch opened, poking her skin, drawing blood. Stop it! A ripping sound. Brett stared back, waving a piece of scarf. Kadra lunged, tried to grab it. Her scarf was torn in two, one strip in Brent's hand, the other wound tightly around her neck. I hate you! She screamed. I hate you! Brent mimicked in falsetto. It's just hair, you psycho! What a psycho, Curtis echoed. The two boys ran down the hall, the thump of their Adidas feet merging with the clatter of the pep rally. Kadra knelt and started collecting her things. Algebra, hola amigos too, her binder with all the papers falling out of it on the floor. My Antonia crumpled on its face. I hate you, I hate you, I hate you! She screamed at their receding figures. Mr. Eggleston came out of his room down the hall. Silhouetted by the daylight streaming from the double doors at the end of the hallway, he shook his head, gave her a look of mild disapproval, and went back inside. Mama was going to freak out, Kadra knew. Where is your scarf? Why did you take it off? Her father would say gravely, but why were you talking to a boy anyway? They didn't get it. They didn't get anything. She slid to the floor her back against the cinder blocks. After her breathing got back to normal, she shoved her stuff into her locker and kicked it shut, wiping her face with the back of her hand. She would not cry in this hateful school. She should never have let them get to her. Hated herself for that. The scarf, it was a mess. She didn't want to give anyone in this building the satisfaction of seeing her bareheaded. She shoved her disheveled hair under it the brooch from Aunt Khadija was broken. Great. There was a smear of blood on the folds of the scarf where the brooch had poked her. Just great. That would never come out.